In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about a beginner box of flies for trout. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. If you are a returning subscriber, it's good to see your face again. If you are new here, my name is Reese and I make fly fishing videos and tutorials that will help you catch more fish. So if you would like to learn more, please press the red subscribe button and smash that bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. Okay, so today we're talking about beginner trout flies. Now, since this YouTube thing started two years ago, I've had hundreds of messages asking about flies, asking about whether I tie flies, whether I can tie flies for them, where I, where they should buy flies from, and so on and so forth. So it's always been a problem because I don't tie to sell, I only tie my own flies because of time constraints. And I've been thinking about a way around it. So the lovely people over at Free or Fly have teamed up with me for this, and we are bringing together a box of flies that will basically cover you for the whole year. And with this box, I wanted flies that would cover you for all year round, every single month, no matter what method it was, what depth the fish were at, you would be equipped to deal with it. So let me introduce you to the Ferio All-Rounder. So let's run through the facts. What do you actually get? Well, you get a clear box, which is spacious enough not to crush any of your flies, including your bungs. There's plenty of room in this box for more flies if you want it. But the idea is I've tried to pick two patterns that will cover every method for the right time of year. So we have got things to cover you for the bung, the washing line, or the straight lining, lures, pulling apps, and things to cover you for dries. So let's take a more in-depth look at what is in here. Starting off with lures. So if you haven't seen my winter lures video already, I'll leave a link up in the top description here for you to see it. But basically, we have gone for primary colors. I wanted one bright, one dark, and one in the middle. And you won't go far wrong with going for a cat's whisker, a black lure, and a damsel. Each of those patterns arguably catch the most fish collectively throughout the year compared to any other lure. We've got a bright cat's whisker for those very fresh fish, and we've got a black zonker for when the water is colored. And then we've also married two key ingredients in what is a very successful stocky bashing lure. That is the blue fash damsel and the redhead damsel. This pattern has proven itself time and time again for still water trout. And so how you would fish these is very simple. Seven weight rod, slow or a fast intermediate, 12 to 14 foot of eight pound fluorocarbon, and just vary up the retrieve. So you could be slow figure of eight, fast figure of eight, stripping, or even a roly poly. Okay, and then now moving on to the apps. So if you haven't seen my apps worm video, I leave a link up here for you to check it out. If you have seen it, you will know the three of the primary colors that I have confidence in are red, olive, and yellow. And this box is no different. We've used Bill McIlroy's Flexi Floss for each of these flies. So you've got your brandling first, your amber second, and then your olive third. For a slight bit of variance, we've put a pearl back on the olive but the amber is staying as it should be with a glow bite body and how I fish these again varies but you won't go far wrong either with a floater a sink tip or a fast or slow intermediate a long leader of say 14 to 15 foot and then just inch it back or rip it back if you've seen the video you'll know that there are varying ways to fish this worm so I strongly suggest you check out the video if you've never fished it before okay so we've covered off two of the autumn and winter methods let's have a look at the third the bung. Now the bung is here to stay and I fully enjoy fishing it. So with that I wanted to provide you with three flies that offered you enough variance in the winter to get fish. And what we've chosen here are three staples. First, arguably one of the best bung flies there is, the cat bug. It catches so many fish across most modern still waters these days that You'd be stupid not to have it in your box. Secondly, we move on to a coral egg pattern, and thirdly, we move on to a peach ecstasy worm. Now, each of these flies will work extremely well on its day at the right depth. All you need to do is work out where the fish are sitting and go through each one to find out what works. And not forgetting two of for real fly bungs. These things are bright, these things will hold up plenty of flies on your session. And the starting option to go with the bung is basically start at two feet and then work your way down deeper as your session goes on. Okay, now we've covered the winter and autumn methods, let's have a look at spring and summer. The washing line. 
arguably one of the most devastating and consistent methods at this time of year. And in this box, we've got no different. I'm covering you with successful established patterns from the competition scene, starting off with the boobies. So the Candy Floss has been around for years, everybody knows it, but not everybody knows about the Sunburst Tail Candy Floss. It was introduced to me about two or three years ago and it fishes just as well, if not sometimes better than the original candy floss. Now the second booby I've decided to put in this box is Ronnie's Biscuit Booby. Now I'm told by the guys over at Ferio that this is as close to the original version as you will see. The Biscuit Booby was again born at Lake Menteith but has made its way around the UK and it's in every competition angler's box. So you can trust that it works. So when we're fishing the washing line, we want to look at what's gonna come up from that. So you'll have the booby on the point. Now you've got two options. You can go for cormorants or you can go for nymphs. For the cormorants, I've selected a red holographic cormorant or a pearly cormorant, both successful in their own right. For the nymphs, we've gone for a black cruncher or a red holographic jowl. I purposefully picked a red holographic jowl not made with peacock curl, just so that it will last you longer when you get fish. With the washing line, we're fishing a very simple approach. 15 foot leader, five foot, five foot, five foot with three flies. If you'd like to know more about the washing line, I've done a whole video on it right here. And with that, we've covered off the top water column. What happens if we need to go through the water column in the middle of spring and summer? Well, that's where straight line buzzers come in and I've got you covered. In this box, we've got two buzzer patterns, a red holographic back buzzer, which has worked very, very well on the Lake of Menteith. Recently, when we went up to Rutland, that was the standard fly for us. Now I've also put in a smaller buzzer pattern with pearl and orange cheeks. There's something about the success of a quill buzzer that just can't be matched. And a perfect setup when fishing straight line buzzers would look like this. Six foot, six foot, six foot with three flies. You could fish a red back on the point with two smaller quill buzzers on the droppers. And if you'd like to know more about buzzer fishing, why not check out this video here? Okay, and then finally, finishing this off, we are in the middle of summer. All the fish are now looking up and you want something that's gonna be sitting in the surface film. If you've watched my videos before, you know how much I rave about the yellow owl and it's no surprise to see it in the box here. I wanted patterns that consistently work for me and that's why we've got these two. So we've got the yellow owl, doesn't need no introduction. It is arguably one of the best small still water dry flies that exist. And then we've got a black cull. The black cull has a slight bit of pearl in the butt just to attract those fish in. And how I fish these is, again is very simple. Eight foot tapered leader with a small split ring and then three foot of terminal tippet, whether it be three pound stroft or five pound Rio Fluoroflex. So all of these flies are tied on good quality for Rio hooks. You get 40 flies a box, all for 49 pounds 95. And with that, if you would like to learn more about summer fly fishing for trout, why not check out this video here? And YouTube seems to think that you would like to see this video here. Now, if you want to buy these flies, I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. And guys, thanks again for watching. My name is Reese. Take care. Have a great day.